Hello everyone and welcome back to Coon Valley Campers. Today we are going to speak to you about split chargers and leisure battery wiring. I've been getting a lot of response down in the comments recently on our previous videos about leisure wiring and split charge systems. Can we do a video about it? So today, this is what we're gonna do. So what is a split charge relay and how do we wire it into our system? To start off with, we're gonna get right down to the basics about what is charged and how we get that charge or the electric current to your leisure battery itself. So in all the vans, cars, trucks, whatever it is you may own, um, you will have a charging system in the engine bay. That consists of an alternator, which is basically a very small generator. And the vehicle battery is used to power the core components of the vehicle itself. The vehicle battery has nothing to do with the camper van, but we try and only use the vehicle battery for the vehicle. When we go camping, we want to use the lights, we want to use the fridge, we want to use the tap on the water pump system and any other accessories or utilities you may have within the vehicle. If we were to wire in all of those systems into the vehicle battery alone, then when it comes to the day we're leaving camp or the location that we're camped in, we're never gonna be able to start the vehicle because we've used up all the juice in our vehicle battery. To overcome that, we introduce a leisure battery into the camper van leisure electrics. If we were to just have this leisure battery sitting in the back of the van or the car or the camper on its own, not being charged, we will use all the electricity in this battery very, very quickly. So to that end, we need to charge it. There's a few ways we can charge that battery. One is using a split charge system. Two is using a mains charger so when you're plugged into a location at a campsite or you are say plugged into a plug socket at home you can charge the battery using the correct charger the third way we can keep this battery charged is via solar panels we will go into all of those systems another day but today we're going to concentrate on the split charge system so how do we charge this leisure battery and that is with a split charge relay. We want to get the current from the alternator to the vehicle battery, but then to charge the leisure battery, we need to close a circuit to allow the current to pass from the vehicle battery into this leisure battery. We do that via a relay. Now, this one I've got here is a very simple 13 amp relay, which is basically a switch. It's a switch that's constantly in the open position. Now, we can't pass current from this battery to this battery until that switch is closed. We close that switch via another 12 volt source. That 12 volt source will come from your ignition live when you turn your vehicle on. We don't use those systems anymore because we use a voltage sensitive relay. They're the systems of old and they do work, they work fine, but these relays will only close to let the current pass through when it senses that the vehicle battery is at the optimum charging rate of 13.8 volts DC. So when the alternator, which kicks out around 14 volts, 14.2 volts, charges this battery and this battery voltage reaches 13.8 volts DC, this switch will close, the current then passes through from this battery to this one, and this leisure battery will then be charged by the alternator. Hope you got all of that. If not, rewind, because <laughs> that'll be the telephone. So how do you wire in your split charge system? I bought this kit from Rain Automotive. You may have seen one of our previous videos, we get all of our kits from Rain. This one in particular costs you about 45 pounds. It doesn't come with a leisure battery. It's just the relay kit itself. And it's very, very simple to do. I was going to fit it to a vehicle for you today, but decided that we all, we all have different vans, 
and you may not be fitting this to a VW T4 or a T5, you're going to be fitting this to whatever car you, van you have. So, four connections, that's all it is, four connections. You have a live going to the vehicle battery, you have a live going to the leisure battery, and you have a negative going to the leisure battery. The fourth connection is to an earth point on the vehicle itself. I've tied these two in here. All right. The live going to the vehicle battery is what's called the sense battery on the back of the relay. The live going from the leisure battery is labeled second battery. So sense battery, second battery. The earth that comes out the back of the relay is just going to the earth terminal on the vehicle. That can also go to an earth point on the vehicle itself as well. Once it's all wired in, you wanna check it works. So I'd pop the fuses in, give your vehicle, or turn the vehicle on. If you have a, a voltage gauge in the system, and you can see that the readout is 12.5 volts, normally for a leisure battery, for example, it'll be good to see that um, that the charge is actually going up to above 13.8 volts because if it's not, that relay won't be kicking in and your charging system might be at full. The, this does give off an audible click when the switch closes. So that's another reason you know. And in fact, there is also a little red LED in there as well. So you know the uh, relay is working too. But that is about it. The split charge system is fairly simple. Um, made even simpler by a voltage sensitive split charge relay um, because there's not many wires to connect at all and buying a kit from the likes of Rain Automotive it's all pre-wired so it's really really simple and it all comes with these nice rubber booties that will go over your terminals it even comes with the battery terminals on it so they're the place to go that's where we get all our gear from um, any questions please leave a comment below what else would you like to see us cover in all the tutorials or the how-tos? We'd love to hear from you because we love answering your questions as well. You'll see I do try and answer every single question we get or at least make a comment on every single comment we get. Um, and yeah, it's it's been really, really good hearing from you so far and we want to continue that and give you all of the videos and content that uh, you need, really. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell as well because that will inform you every time one of our videos goes live. Thank you very much.